What's up everybody? I'm Btrue and today is Thursday and that means we got a brand new set of events coming for you this week. But first, if you are new to the channel and you have not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below before you watch any of the rest of the video. Click that subscribe button, click the notification bell so you always know whenever I am streaming or making any videos. All right, so Thursday, new events. Uh, not too big of a, of a week this week. Um, they kind of been adding a lot of new ninjas recently. This week is just kind of a not quite as uh, as crazy. So first off, we have a new summon, um, Gamakiri, this weird frog thing. Um, <laughs> triggered with 10 combo, causes damage to three enemies and reduces their resistance by 20%, which is stackable. Stackable meaning um, if you continue to hit the same target, now, I don't know if it's additive or multiplicative, meaning if it's 20% and then 20% of their new, 20% or 20% of the total. I'm going to assume it's 20% of their new, so like after it's been reduced by 20%. Otherwise, after five turns, they'd be down to zero uh, resistance, which is absurd. Um, so most likely, let's say they have 1,000, right? So 20% of that, okay, let's do, yeah, that's what, 800? I think so. Um, then the next one would be a be twenty percent of that eight hundred, not another twenty percent. So it'd be a little bit less. Okay, so that's how that's gonna work. Um, also up here in the group shop, now you can where is it? Now you can buy group summon chakra down here for group points. Um, so you have that as well. Also, one other thing. Let's go to my group real quick. And they have a new. There we go. New group summon has been added is going to be Katsuya. So now we have um, the snake, we have the frog, and we have the slug. So Katsuyu down here. We still don't have Manda yet, um, but we have Katsuyu has been added into the game. So I'm assuming she's going to... Uh... Yeah, they tell you down here. So her mystery causes damage to the opponent's entire team and causes immobile um, to the entire team. That's pretty good. Causes damage up to 12 units. Also... Uh... Cause himself from ignition and poisoning. Her standard attack attacks all opponents' units, causes poisoning, um, immune to everything. Every time one of your opponents uses a chakra consuming skill, this uh, skill will make that unit spend 100% of the opponent's chakra points. Ooh, man. Use all their chakra. Every time suffers from Taijutsu's point. That's a really strong summon right there. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's get into the actual events now. We've got the Naruto Froggy was from last week, right? Yes, it was. Okay. So our hot topics. Missions, general mobilization. This was one of my favorite um, events that we had. So you go to the mission dealer. It's going to tell you wherever the scroll is. Uh, so he's in East Konoha right now. Go talk to him. You're going to go get missions. Okay. Make sure you are trading missions with somebody else. I used to have an alternate account, which I would use just to give myself missions for. Reason for that is when you complete one of these missions, if you did it for the one that you got, you get five points. If you do it for one that you get from somebody else, you get five points plus one of these missions gift box, which automatically gives you 10 points when you open it. So now you're up to 15 instead of just five. Plus you have the ability to get uh, one of the random drops that you see below. That's actually how I got my Hashirama was from one of these missions gift boxes. So um, you do occasionally get the ninja in there. This week it's going to be uh, either Hashirama or Tobirama for the uh, 80 fragments. But anyway, um, so 150 points per day uh, total because you can get 15 per mission, you get 10 missions per day. With those points then, we've got Hokage Minato. Come on now, there we go. Hokage Minato, we've got Summer Sakura. We've got Swimsuit Tamari, Ido Tensei, Tobirama. We also have the Deluxe Bell Pack and Mount Miboku's Grasp. Okay, so not a ton of options as far as power this week. Um, you can get all 100 of these Mount Miyaboku grass if you get 150 points uh, per day. So you can go ahead and get 100 of those, end up trying to get a, some progress there. If you still need bells, um, you could also go for this. Either one of these will be fine as far as power goes if you're trying to level up some ninjas there or if you want to open up the... Actually, I should say, if you don't have Mount Miyaboku training open yet, um, so if you don't have... If you don't have this one open yet, you should go ahead and get as many of these as possible um, so you can get to the point where you open that up, okay? That'll be best for you power-wise. There's the battle, battle Armor Panic Buy. This is when you can just buy threads for a large discount, but it's for ingots only. Um, and then there's also a rebate down here 
for the amount of ingots that you spend uh, just on this right here. This platinum recharge. Okay, so this is how you're going to be able to get Sa Rinnegan Sh Sasuke. Shashke. <laughs> Shashke. Okay. Um, so if you recharge 50 ingots per day, you can get uh, these cultivation scroll as well as coupons. At 500, you get deluxe bell packs. At 5,000 ingots uh, recharge, you get 10 Rinnegan Sasuke fragments as well as um, five, or, yeah, five Mount Miyaboku training pack, which gives you 10 of those. If you recharge 5,000 for four days, you're going to get, um, yeah, that's 80, right? Yeah. 40. No, that's only 60. Whoa. Okay. So if you, uh, if you do that for four days, you're gonna be able to claim this, but they're only giving you 20, which means you're only going to be at 60 fragments. So you would need to recharge 5,000 for six total days. If you want to get all 80 fragments to unlock Renegon Sasuke get that and the same thing works over here if you do the highest one you get all of them um, but if you just want like this 50 over here charge material pack that's how that works recruitment feedback uh, this is the my favorite recruitment um, rebate is the best one that they have they don't have the thousand this week it's only up to 500 okay um, so if you spend seal scrolls in Tendo 5 Kage or the great ninja war treasure you're gonna be able to get rebates back at 10 you get 1 50 you get 5 so you get 10% of whatever that is right these are permanent seal scrolls, which means you could actually use them to help you hit the next level with this recruitment feedback, or you can save them for the next one. So you can constantly be getting like a couple more towards the next one. And then up at 500 instead of seal scrolls, they'll give you Hashirama send you fragments. This Kanoha puzzle, it just kind of happens uh, in the background. It's for free. When you spend your stamina, you're going to get these pieces. You just light them up and they'll give you something for free. It's normally like coins or uh, low level refinement runes, something, something low. Goldfish fishing. Okay, so fish once. I got red fish. Okay. Um, so as you're doing this, okay, paper nets. Can I buy? Where do I buy? Acquire paper nets uh, through plot elite recruit systems. Okay. So as you spend your stamina, you're going to get these uh, fishing nets, and then you can go ahead and uh, fish for them. With the points we have back here, we've got Hanabi fragments, we've got normal Hanzo, we've got Zaku. Zaku fragments. Um, we've got Sasuke suit. We have Unbound Runes packet, and we have Purification. So there's really not a lot of power. Not any. The best ninja back here is going to be Hanzo for sure. Um, I guess that you can get power from Unbound Rune packets if you want to use those. Not the best event. This is still around here. Reminder: Don't spend three thousand dollars for a ninja who isn't even all that amazing. Um, and they'll release a better version of Madara in the future and then probably charge like $10,000 from some stupid. Just don't do it, okay? Please, please don't spend $3,000 on this dumb ass game for this ninja. Okay, that out of the way. Shinobi Feast, uh, if you recharge 100 ingots, you get one spin, you get up to 200 spins per day. You can get, oh, they get rid of um, Susano Itachi. Now it's Hashirama Ido Tensei. You can also get 80 fragments of uh, Kakashi Susano. We've got a lot of coupons over here, a couple power items. The Lucky Feast, so here he is. Um, you can spend ingots back here to buy something, one of these uh, items. Most people gen generally spend on um, Susano Itachi because they're guaranteed ways to get his fragments. Uh, you get these credits based on what you buy, and those credits kind of go into as like a raffle for this. The more credits you have, uh, the lucky credits right there, the better your chances of winning this prize at the end of the day. Um, so you can get two Susano, Kakashi, or Susano Itachi fragments per day um, with those ingots right there if you want to, if you're trying to finish him off. And then also don't forget the arena training. This happens in the background. Um, you just got to win 15 times in the arena. You'll claim all this stuff for free. You got a seal scroll down at the bottom and then we have Orochimaru, Orochimaru, Orochimaru. So we have Orochimaru um, skill books back here that you can use. The fateful choice. All right, so you have to choose a side one way or the other. In order to get um, the orbs, you have to do these things back here. So obtain, it will tell you where they get them. Um, then you choose either the Uchiha side, you get these things, or you choose his side, you get. The only difference is um, if you want to spend on either the Mass Man or Joni Minato. Other than that, all the rewards are exactly the same. So if you don't plan on spending for either of them, just go with whatever side is winning. 
okay? Because you end up getting like extra, you end up getting extra rewards if you're on the winning side. Advanced refinement runes. I think. Oh, that's for more than seven. Whatever. Um, so you can get Joni Minato or the Masked Man. We also have Charms Material, Shark Kisame. We've got Magitama level four coins and advanced refinement runes. If you want to finish off Joni Minato, this is one of the best times to do it is during this event. Otherwise, best power is going to be either Charms Material pack or advanced refinement runes, whatever one you're kind of lacking in. The Battle Armor rebate just goes along with the Battle Armor Panic Buy. Um, you want to try to level up your battle armor during this time because when you hit the next uh, the next rank, they'll give you a bunch of thread towards the next level. So if you are at level 6, you hit level 7 during this event, they'll give you 250 advanced thread. And then um, if you hit level 9, which is the highest level, you'll get Tobi Rama Senju. And then they also have this. Um, this is for the... So one is for the rank and then one is for the level, I believe. Or no, that's for the rank. Where's the level? I don't know. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Lucky Star's Wheel. Okay, so one free chance per day. Let's spin it, see what we get. We're probably going to get three. Hey, look at that. I called it. Um, you can also get Ido Tensei Udakata or Madara Fragments back here. I always tell people don't spend on events where you're trying to get something that's part of the RNG aspect. So if you're trying to get like the Madara Fragments or the Udakata, I would say don't spend on this event because it's dumb because it's RNG, meaning you'll hardly ever get what you actually want. Um, it is going to be 20 coupons or ingots per spin. However, if you want to get something that is in the back here, that's totally okay then. So um, with those stars, those are pretty much like a guaranteed every time you spin, you, you'll be getting a couple of them like through the average, you know, like you won't always get the stars, but you'll average out getting stars every pool. Um, so we got power back here with the exquisite silk fragments. We've got Sage of Six Pass Naruto. We have Banara Uchiha, the Five Kage Summit. It's funny how they're almost the same price. Weird. Uh, Mount Me Boku's Training, and then Charms Material Packs and Shisui. Best thing for power is going to be getting um, the exquisite silk fragments. When you finish that off, permanent power, that's going to be really helpful. Other than that, if you're still uh, kind of low, buy that just because. If you're still kind of low on your Mount Miyoboku training or you haven't opened it yet, you can start stockpiling these to help you out. Um, otherwise, charge material pack. And then, obviously, best ninja in here is going to be Sage's Six Pass Naruto. Finally, we've got the Fukuromaru deals. All right, so <clears throat> as you are spending um, coupons and ingots during this week, you'll hit these breakpoints where you can claim different rewards. We've got Taisho Period Conan starting at just 1,000 um, coupons and ingots. Then at 5,000, you start getting the Gamakiri Fragments, which is the new summon, um, all the way up to 20,000 to finish her off. I'm going to assume it's a her because she's wearing a bow tie and has lipstick on. So shoot me if I'm wrong. Um, Charge Material Pack, we got Bells, Seal Scrolls, uh, Charge Tools, Ultimate Essence, all that goody, goody stuff. Don't worry about this. Just don't. It's not even worth it. Don't. Okay, <laughs> so that is everything we got for the week. Like I said, it's a much um, smaller week this week. The past couple weeks, they've been adding like a ton of new ninja and skill breakthroughs every single week. So this is going to feel like maybe a little bit less a week. But there's decent, um, decent events with some pretty good ninja available for you. Good ways to get power if you want to go for that. So there we go. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. You need to click that subscribe button to finish out any of the more of my content. It's required because I told you to. <laughs> all right, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this video helps you out. Thank you all for watching the whole way through the video. I really do appreciate it. It helps out with YouTube's watch time. Watch time. Man, I can't speak today. All right, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video and peace.